Hi, my name is Jeff Barkman and I talk about things. Today, I want to talk about strengths and weaknesses. Having strengths is great and expressing your strengths feels awesome. And having weaknesses sucks. And when your weaknesses are expressed, it really sucks. So what is a strength? Uh, maybe a better question is, what are the limitations of a strength? And I would say, um, the limitations of a strength are uh, defined by when that extension of that strength becomes a weakness. How can a strength overexpressed become a weakness, you might ask? Well, imagine you're a restaurant owner and you have an amazing gift of hospitality. You're completely able to make people feel at ease and welcome and like they're having a fun time and like the food is awesome and there's a secret menu that only you get to, uh, you know, see, you feel special. Um, and all your needs are taken care of before you even uh, register that you had that need, meaning like before you know you're thirsty, there's water in your hand, that kind of thing. Like his, say your hospitality gift is extremely strong. Um, but then say, hypothetically, that, you know, you're looking at the numbers and you're realizing Oh my goodness, this restaurant is not making money. I better cut the wages of the staff, I suppose. Um, so you cut the wages of the staff, and you're still not making money. How come? And then you go and look at the numbers for how much uh, stuff you're giving away for free, and you realize that actually you're eating all your profits by being hospitable. You're eating your profits in the name of hospitality. That would be an example of a strength that's overextended. Another place that we see strengths that are overextended are people who are extremely loyal. Um, people who are extremely loyal would tolerate behavior, potentially, um, from people that aren't very good friends in the name of loyalty. Um, and so that is what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm speaking about the boundaries of strengths. Um, I think it's also important to recognize that that weaknesses kind of have boundaries as well. Um, you know, why do we have weaknesses? I think that aside from talking about uh, how we're all created in the image of God and we all kind of reveal a different side of God's face to each other, um, aside from talking about the identity stuff and how we're all special and unique and beautiful, um, the reason we have weaknesses is because... It, it ha <sighs> Sucking at things sucks. And so if you pick up something that you're really not good at, it takes an immense amount of willpower to put in the time and work to get good at that thing. So what ends up happening for most people is we find out what our strengths are, usually in our uh, adolescent years. <clears throat> um, and we develop those strengths because we try to get it to, to, be, to be a master at something. You know, for example, I'm trying to become a master orator, and I'm, I'm doing quite well, but I'm certainly not there yet. Um, you know, when I went to ministry school, um, I thought for sure it was going to be a season where I got to express my strengths in a new uh, venue, in a new way, in a bigger way. Uh, and, you know, I didn't know about myself that I'd gone through my whole life having my main piece of self-worth attached to the fact that I am an incredible singer-songwriter. Um, and the challenge from Holy Spirit for me in that first year of ministry school really was to put down my old false identity, um, regardless of how good I am at being a singer-songwriter, at writing songs or whatever. Um, the truth is that my worth comes from what God says my worth is, not the traits that I have or the skills that I've developed or any of the things that I do. And so any place that my worth was attached to the things that I do, he kind of took those things away from me for a season to be able to kind of build up the low places on my walls, as it were, to build up on my weaknesses. Um, and it ended up being one of the most beautiful seasons in my life. You know, I showed up to BSSM. Um, wow, that was difficult. I showed up to BSSM 
an amazing singer songwriter, but I left BSSM an amazing son of God. Um, and there's nothing more valuable than that. Um, it takes immense character to work on your weaknesses and really it, it takes an immense yes. Um, if the Lord is trying to work on your weaknesses. So I, I'm curious if any of you are feeling like in this season, there's kind of been like a, a decreased attention paid to your strengths. I wonder if Holy Spirit's working on your weaknesses. And if so, I just want to encourage you that if you dig into a season where the Lord is working on your weaknesses, it's going to be one of the most valuable seasons of your entire life. And it's going to transform you and make you into something dramatically more than you ever thought you were capable of being. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, I really appreciate you. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe if you feel like it. Bless you. Ooh, ooh, ooh.